cooking with Ted today. We're cooking some my famous okra chicken and sausage gumbo. I'll tell you, I got it going on now. I have uh, put a pound of sausage in this pot here. We got a uh, pack of organic celery, uh, two purple onions, two white or yellow onions of your choice, a uh, whole pack of green onions I bought. Uh, sauteing all this together right now in this big cast iron black pot. Nothing else is better than that for gumbo. And uh, you can saute this in a pot pretty much so it gets good and, good and done and go set this aside after that. And I have a full chicken I bought here and I got it boiled in my other cast iron pot. And it's already set aside. I'm letting it cool. And once it's cooled, I'm going to debone it. And then we'll uh, put the meat in here and add the broth to it. That'll be later on in the segment. So right now we're going to let this cook. We'll come back, check back in later when I get ready to do the rest and we'll uh, pick up from there. Okay, we're back here. I got uh, took up the uh, sausage and uh, all the onions. I added. I don't uh, my gumbo. I don't add any kind of roux. I usually let the sautéed uh, onions and sausage make it little brown on the bottom. Then I add a pound of frozen okra, fresh cut okra, and I sauté it, and it gets a little brownish color to it. And that's when you uh, just sort of brown, and that gives you a nice little. It gets real slimy looking. So then you can add, I got the chicken taken out. Over here I'm starting to debone it, but you can go ahead and add your, um, let me get my pot over here. You can go ahead and add your uh, chicken broth to your, uh, add it in there with your, to your uh, okra. Then you can take your other stuff and add it back in here also at this time. And you can always just add the chicken last, just cook a little bit. But you pretty much let this cook some more, and add your chicken, and uh, it comes out real great. And uh, we'll check back in when I get, to get that much done. We'll do a taste test and see how well this thing tastes, which I know it will taste great. All right, we're back here. I got the chicken added. Uh, bring the camera a little bit closer. We'll look at it real quick and see how good this looks. We got this. Uh, Chicken all added in here, and you can see all the nice ingredients here. I haven't added any seasonings other than the natural ingredients. It does all the seasoning for you. The chicken broth does a good job. <clears throat> so this is what we have here. So let me get a little taste test here. Mmm, -hmm. It's delicious. So I recommend it. Try it. Make it a family tradition every Christmas day. 